Hello everyone, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the new version of Rome Total Realism Imperium Serectum that was just released uh, on the Steam Workshop, so you can find a link to that in the description below. So, of course, I did a video about the teaser for this mod um, f a few weeks ago, uh, I believe right after the release of uh, Total War Rome Remastered. And uh, yeah, this mod is uh, essentially a, co a combination. It's developed by uh, the Rome Total Realism team as well as some members of the old Roma Serectum team. And uh, yeah, so it's essentially a, a super mod that's uh, already in development and that's been formed by uh, these famous uh, mod teams, the venerable Rome Total Realism. Uh, one of the first Total Overhaul mods for the original Rome Total War, as well as uh, Roma Serectum, perhaps, which uh, became the most popular mod for the original Rome Total War. And so this um, version adds quite a bit from Roma Serectum in here. So it's um, uh, adding a lot of material from Roma Serectum into uh, Rome Remastered. So let's get into it a little bit. So. Uh, I guess first of all, I'll um, just uh, show off a little bit of Egypt here, because of course, um, Egypt in Rome Total War and in the remaster as well is kind of like Bronze Age Egypt, right? So a lot of people feel like it's immersion breaking. A lot of people love it, but uh, you know, however much I like the ancient Near East and the Bronze Age, it's immersion breaking to see Bronze Age Egypt. Um, so in uh, Rome Total War. So uh, at the beginning of the, uh, when you start up the mod, uh, you see this faction destroyed screen. Now modders unfortunately cannot change this. So when a faction is removed, like um, this, uh, the Bruti, right? Uh, it'll show that that faction has been destroyed, right? So as of now, uh, the modders cannot change that, but uh, that will be changed at some point. Modders will have access. Uh, they will gain the ability so that um, that message does not display. Um, so in any case, I wanted to um, start off a campaign here as Egypt because as you can see, now the faction leader is Ptolemy and Egypt is now essentially the Ptolemaic kingdom. So it's Hellenistic in culture. Um, you still have the you know, Egyptian gods, uh, temples. Uh, but now you get a more Hellenistic style army and a more um, uh, Hellenistic kingdom, right? So you can actually recruit um, Hellenistic units. You do get some native units like the Nubian uh, spearmen are still there. But you also get hoplites, uh, phalangites, pikemen, uh, units like that, which are more um, accurate for the Ptolemaic kingdom. And of course, um, uh, the Ptolemies also get some territory in southern Asia Minor. So the map has not been changed too much in this update. Um, so what else do I want to talk about besides Egypt? Well, of course, uh, Rome was combined into one uh, faction in the previous version, in the teaser version of the mod that's been out for a few weeks now already. Um, but of course, uh, now um, the Roman legions from Roma Serectum have been added. So actually, let me start up a game here as uh, the Romans. Or actually, let me show off the um, unit roster here real quick. So uh, a lot of the unit rosters have been changed already. So let's go into custom battle. Uh, and uh, where do I want to go? Romans. Okay. So you can see all of the various uh, Roman legions are now here. So you have one Germanica, one Germanica first cohort, right? Three Gallica, three Gallica first cohort. 5 Alaude, 7 Claudia, uh, 9 Hispaniensis. So all of these uh, legions... Now this was one of the main features 
in Aroma Serectum when it was first uh, released back in the day. Um, the first version of Roma Serectum, um, you know, it, it did change the map. It did have a new map. It did um, change a lot of things about Rome Total War, but uh, a lot of uh, its main attraction was the fact that it had all of these uh, historical legions and uh, they worked with an area of recruitment. So you you would recruit these legions, which are different from each other, uh, well, slightly, depending on the legion, um, also in appearance and shield, uh, the shield design. So all of these uh, legionaries could, can be recruited in the actual place where they were um, historically recruited, right? And, of course, the Roman auxiliaries have also been added here. So we've got some Sarmatian uh, cataphracts, uh, Pannonian cataphracts, um, pray, uh, um, what's another? Yeah, th uh, Thracian uh, archers. So yeah, you have a lot of um, auxiliary units added as well, which is very cool to see. And of course, not only Rome has been changed, but also um, other uh, factions. So let's just go to the Ptolemies, show off their roster. So uh, some units from Roma Serectum have been added here, like um, Hoplites, uh, Macedonian Katoikoi, but actually, um, oh, and then uh, Pontus. So you got Eastern Levy Spearmen. So these replace the beloved Eastern Infantry. Uh, Caucasian Hillmen, Allied Phalangites, Chalka Speed, Speedis, uh, Slingers, Foot Archers, Pontic Heavy Cavalry, Pontic Armored General, Cappadocian Light Cavalry, Pontic Scythed Chariot. Right, so um, a lot of the faction rosters have been completely uh, changed here. And a lot of uh, Ro uh, the Roma Serectum textures and units have been added here and it's important to note that actually let me i don't know let's just add a bunch of these legionary units just get a uh an idea of what we've got going on here this battle exceeds recommended size oh i don't even have enough money Okay, well, there you go. Okay, now that's good. Nope. How about this one? Nope. Uh, how about some uh, Pannonian Cav? Ah, even that's too expensive. Well, uh, this is good enough. Um, but in any case, uh, let's start this battle. And then I'll just have the AI create the army for the Sarmatians. Okay. So let's uh, start this battle and show off some of these textures here. Now, Roma Serectum, uh, especially Roma Serectum 2 and Roma Serectum 3 had, uh, has um, amazing units made by Tome, uh, mostly. And these are uh, these the same uh, models and textures that were made by Tome for Roma Serectum. So as you can see here, let's uh, back these guys up a bit. So as you can see, these guys, they look a, the tiniest bit out of place in Rome Remastered. And um, you'll notice things like the faces are the same because these are just ported Rome Total War textures from the original Roma Serecta. Okay? So, um, and of course, on the shields, you can see which legion. This is from Legion 7, Claudia Pia. Right, and we look at a couple of the other legions. So, uh, Legion Minerva 1. Okay, and you can see, um, yeah, they still have the clone sort of faces from the original Rome Total War, but uh, that will be changed eventually, of course. Um, and here are the Hastati from Roma Serectum. And here are the uh, cohort two of um, 
Dacia, I suppose. Um, but yeah, you can see these are Roma Serectum original textures, and they look really nice in Rome Remastered because they've been upscaled, right? They have been upscaled uh, to work here in Rome Remastered and to look nice in Rome Remastered. So you can see shields look very crisp and clean. The equipment, it all looks very crisp and clean, just like in um, the original Roma Serectum. And that just goes to show you the quality of the work done by Tone and uh, the Roma Serectum team. Um, but these textures will be changed, they will be improved uh, for the remaster. Uh, th this release is just focused on getting a lot of that Roma Serectum content into uh, Rome Remastered. So yeah, you know, let's start a little battle here, why not? Okay. So let, let's check out the Sarmatians here. So we've got Scythian noble archers. So yeah, you can see these guys are the Roma Serectum Scythian noble archers. Who else have we got here? Our C noble cavalry, yep. I like this, I really like the nomadic cavalry with the big square arm piece here. Very nice indeed. Sarmatians looking good. Sarmatian archers, again the Roma Serectum ones. Light Warband. Uh, who else have we got? Scythian Axemen. And oh, Armored Sarmatian General looking very nice. Again, I... Uh, yeah. So... Yeah, this is all looking very promising. So, of course, um, like I said, all these things are subject to change. They are subject to improvement. So one other uh, thing I wanted to mention about uh, this release of uh, RTR Imperium Serectum is that, uh, let's actually get out of here here is that um, there has been some work done to the battle AI. Uh, so um, they've introduced some changes to the formations, which does influence the way the AI behaves in battle. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really interested in seeing um, some of those changes. One other thing is that aside from the regional uh, legionaries, uh, for the Greek cities, you also have regional hoplites. So you have uh, Kyrenian hoplites, Massalian hoplites, Spartan hoplites, Cretan um, epilectoi infantry, Bosporan hoplites, Athenian epilectoi infantry, a royal Syracusan hoplites. So you do get some um, regional hoplites, Pergamene hoplites, Corinthian hoplites, Rhodian hoplites, Bithynian hoplites. So you get a lot of regional hoplites, just like you have the regional uh, legions, right, that are affected by area of recruitment. You have a lot of regional hoplites for the Greek cities, and that's very cool to see, indeed. Uh, and of course, um, you know, the changed rosters goes for basically all the factions, so they are still subject to change. Um, however, uh, a lot of these are uh, simply, yeah, that's good enough. A lot of these are, uh, again, or these are units from Roma Serectum. So let's showcase a couple more. And then I think uh, that'll be it for um, this showcase here of this new version of uh, RTR, Imperium Serectum. So I just wanted to show some of the Armenian units here. So one of the nicest looking units from Roma Serectum was, of course, the Armenian Heavy Spearmen here. Um, very nice square, sh um, rectangular shield there. Uh, very cool unit, uh, you know, one of the elite infantry of the army. Uh, you got the Ar Armored Eastern General unit here, looking very nice with the slightly Urartian helmet 
style helmet there. Uh, you have Parthian Cataphract Cavalry, looking good. So you might notice the, the mounts, the horses, have not changed here. So I think that will, that will come later. Okay, and what else have we got here? Uh, Armenian Noble Infantry. Uh, yeah, so again, you can see these are original Roma Erectum skins, but uh, upscaled. So you can see, look at how much detail was in this shield in the original Rome Total War. Super nice, uh, super nice looking. We've got some cataphract archers here. Looking good, the armored, armored horse archers. And uh, what other unit can I show? We've got these Persian foot archers. Looking good. All right, so I guess that's um, that's pretty much it for this showcase of uh, RTR Imperium Serectum. So uh, everything is looking quite nice. Uh, I'm really, really excited to see the future of this mod. Uh, it's looking very promising. And the future of modding uh, Rome Total War Remastered is also very promising because, you know, uh, th there are already a lot of nice mods in development and uh, you can check out my links to the mod communities below. So you've got the uh, Imperium Serectum Discord linked below. Uh, and of course you have the Steam Workshop link uh, in the description as well. So uh, in any case, that's pretty much it for this uh, video, this showcase of Total War Rome Remastered Imperium, or sorry, Rome Total Realism, Imperium Serectum, which again is a super mod with modders from the old Rome Total Realism and Roma Serectum modding teams. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for today. Things are looking good, things are looking up. So I'll see you guys in the next video.